Welcome back, everyone. You know, winter is coming, and it's going to wreak havoc on lots of things, including our vehicles. Now, what if you want to sell your vehicle, but you got to get through the winter? We need to talk about how to keep that resale value high. So we've got our automobile expert, Steph Henry, with Hello. us today Hi. outside in actually <laughs> kind of nice weather. It's actually beautiful. But we're going to talk about what we can do for our vehicles to keep them looking good all winter long. Oh, and I think we got to start by talking about salt. Bad for the yeah. boots and the and the vehicle. Absolutely. Bad for the boots, bad for the vehicle, bad for the environment. Salt's yeah. not great, right? Yeah. And you're dealing with a lot of salt, sand, and other um, chemicals used to make sure that we break up the snow, break up the ice when we're driving out there. Uh, so it's really important to make sure that you can keep your vehicle nice and clean throughout the winter because prolonged exposure to um, a prolonged exposure of salt on your vehicle can uh, kind of increase the amount of rust that we're going to see on our car. So we really want to avoid that. So we're going to take you through the good, the bad, and the ugly of winter uh, by showing you what winter can kind of do to your vehicle and how we can prevent it from happening. So like you said, we're starting off with salt and sand um, and we're going to talk about just a bit we're going to show you my vehicle first off, which is the good. I'm going to toot my own horn a little bit. It looks pretty good for her age. She's cute. She's cute. 2017, and we have a couple of nicks on it, but we don't have any rust. We have a picture where we are seeing a vehicle that kind of has a little bit of rust. The paint's peeling. It's not looking great, so that's our bad. And then the ugly is a car that has a bunch of salt stains on it, has the a bottom of it kind of being eaten away by that rust as well. It's okay. not great. What do we do to solve this problem? Because there's no getting away from the salt. There's no getting away from it, but we can kind of try our best to avoid it as much as possible. And you're gonna laugh, but go to the car wash. I know it looks ugly outside. I know that the car looks ugly during the winter, but just go to the car wash and anytime that you see that those salt stains sitting on your car, we wanna just get rid of it, especially after a heavy snowfall when those chemicals and salts just been used, you don't want it to sit on your car. And people who are, most see uh, some issues with salt are ones that drive their car out there and then take it and park it in the garage because you have the snow melting on your car and then all of the salt just kind of sits on it. So that's my first tip. If you wanna take it a step further, you wanna do some DIY detailing that's where these products come in here okay. and we have a chemical guys uh, lubricant so that's for polishing along with the clay bar you spray the, the chemical or the lubricant onto the clay bar you spray some of it onto the car and then the clay bar just kind of glides across and it picks up contaminants and then we have our hybrid rack wax rather from car guys and this is really easy to use I love it it's a spray bottle so it takes about 15 minutes to 20 minutes depending on the size of your vehicle to get uh, a full wax on that car and essentially what you're doing is you're putting a thin layer of protection protection over your car so anything that comes onto it was just going to roll right off oh my gosh that's a lot of extensive diy yeah. there like you're put that's a little bar that you're putting over that whole yeah. sucker oh totally but okay. it lasts you about three to six months oh i mean you, you weigh the pros and cons right okay. okay so now what if you already have an old car uh it's starting to rust you don't want to put that much effort into keeping it up to snuff mm -hmm. what are some solutions for that guess what you're, again, you might laugh. Petroleum jelly, a.k.a. What? Vaseline. Yeah, <laughs> Vaseline. So it's not okay. just for your elbows and your knees. You can put it onto the vehicle as well. And it does the same thing where, you know, have you ever put Vaseline on your hands and then tried to wash your hands? Right, yeah. You, you see the water the beating, water it runs right off. off. Yeah. Exactly. So if you don't want to spend that much money, do the Vaseline. You will have to do it every single time you wash your car. You'll have to apply a little bit more. So again, you know, you kind of, it's, it's a cheap option, a little bit more work. But if you don't want to put in all this polishing, waxing business, then and the petroleum jelly is your way to go. Lotion your car, everybody. Lotion your car, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about batteries. They're super important all year round, but particularly in the winter. Oh, absolutely. So your battery uh, is really important, obviously, because it gets your car moving. My battery, we're, first off, we're going to show the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's first off show the good. We've got a good battery right here. It's brand new. Still has some of its stickers on it. It has really great terminals on it as well. Mm -hmm. The bad battery is where you're at right now. And I would say that it's not bad because of the visual aspect of it. Of course, it's a bit dusty. Yeah. But it's the internal situation that we're thinking of because my battery is about five years old. And is that old? That's pretty old. A battery lasts between three to five years and then oh. it becomes a little bit unstable. Okay. Um, and when we hit about zero degrees, that's when you're going to see your battery lose charge by about 35 percent. And negative 17, it's about 60 percent. So okay. I, I'm already having an old battery. We're not going from 100 and then losing 60, bad at math. Um, but we're losing a lot more because we don't have that much charge already, right? Right. I, I don't want to do math either, but it's no. bad. Yeah. <laughs> There's less battery in the winter. It's, it's bad. It's bad. 
Okay, excellent. Yes. So we've gone through all the battery stuff? Yes, yeah. Want to talk then, about fluids? Yes, all about fluids. Last yeah. but not least, uh, there's so much that you have to keep in mind when you're dealing with uh, automotive fluids. You want your, your wiper fluid, your transmission, your oil. There's so much that you want to focus on throughout the winter, but I do have um, some oil here. Of course, we're going to go through the good, bad, and the ugly, so you're going to see that on your screen here. Uh, but this is what some good oil looks like, which might be surprising to people because it's a little bit on the darker side here. Um, but this is synthetic oil. And my tip for you when it comes to motor oil is to maybe talk to your mechanic, check your owner's manual, and figure out if you can use a, a, an oil that is a little bit less viscous throughout the winter because what it tends to do is really thicken up when it gets cold. As to all of us. We go through Christmas, we thicken up. We want to eat a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Um, but that's like the good thing. So <laughs> you want to get something that's a little bit less viscous so that it's able to run through your engine and your systems very, real nice uh, throughout the winter months. I love also that you're helping us protect our cars that are older. Because yes. I'm a big fan of dealing with what you've got. Absolutely. Steph, thank you so much for that. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us.